so we are going to discuss the milli machines created by g h milli in 1985 milli machines are finite automata with output so <clears throat> these are the finite automata with output so here we will see that the fa that produce the output explicitly you will say that okay that your fa is going to produce the your finite automata is going to produce the output what is milli machine okay. a milli machine is a six tuple m is equal to q sigma o q0 delta beta where q is a finite set of states sigma is finite alphabet of the input symbol your input string consists of the symbols from the sigma o is the finite alphabet of the output symbol the output which is going to to be printed is the symbols taken from the alphabet o your machine start from the initial state q0 this is the initial state of your machine or you can say this is the start state and delta is the transition function the input of the function delta is what the input is state and from every state you may have some input from the sigma and on behalf of this your machine transit from one state to the other state means that the output is what output is any one element from the q beta is the output function and you can define the beta like this beta takes the input as the state and the input symbol so from every state from every input symbols what what actually what character you are going to print it is defined by the beta so here <coughs> the beta is defined for the two things one is you should have the you are in some state and from some state you have some input and on behalf of that input you are going to the actually transition says that you are transiting from for that input you can transit from one state to the other state and during the transition actually you are going to produce the output so during the transition you are going to produce the output and here we have not mentioned the final state so in case of the milli machine we are not going to recognize some language and hence here the final state is not there machine is we are not supposed to designate the state some state as the final state you have to designate the initial state from where your machine starts how you are for some time this is also not necessary so see how actually your machine is going to make the transition so when your machine is in some state so whenever your machine is in some state and it takes some input and on behalf of that actually your machine is going to make the transitions if you are at the state p okay and you have the input say for example a and your machine goes from p to q p to q and for the input a so you can denote like this in the transition diagram we can denote like this your machine is at the state p and from the state p you are reading the input a and your machine is going to transit and during the transition it, it has to print you on behalf of the state and on behalf of the input it has to print some output so you can note like this a is less some output so you can have some symbol on the output alphabet so you can say a slash zero so here we assume that the p and q belongs to the set of the states q 0 belongs to the output alphabet and a belongs to the input alphabet so if you are in if your machine is at the state p and from the state p if the input is a machine transit to the state q and during the transition for this input machine is going to produce the output 
and hence from every state or every input you have to give some output so from every state for every in, in input you can tell that what symbols you are going to print so for every input symbol from every state you must have exactly one transition so and this is the way we can denote that okay your milli machine is going to transit so your milli machine is going to produce the output during the transition okay so once it is going to transit then it is going to produce the output so during the transition actually milli machine is going to produce the output say for example this diagram defines a milli machine so this picture shows the milli machine this is the example of a milli machine we have the input alphabet and in the input alphabet we have the two symbols a and b and we have the output alphabet and we have the two symbols zero and one so you can see that your milli machine is going to transit and it is going to produce the output so your milli machine is going to transit on behalf of the state and on behalf of the input and it decides to go from one state to the other state and once it transit and during the transition actually it is going to produce the output so when machine is transit then it is going to produce the output so here you can see that you are at the state q0 for the input a you are going to the q1 and for the input b you are going to the q4 if you are at the q1 for the input a you are going to the q0 and output is 1 and for the input b you are coming to the q3 and output is 0 if you are at the q3 and input is b you are going to the state q1 and output is 0 if you are at q3 and input is a you are going to the state q4 and output 0 Whenever you are at the Q4 and input is B, you are going to the state Q0 and output is 1. Whenever you are at the Q4 and input is A, you are going to the state Q3 and producing the output 0. So you may think that this is the B, your machine is going to transit and your machine is going to transit and during the transition it is going to produce the output. So if you have some input, then machine is going to produce the output for example if you have the input like this if if you have the input string x this is the input if the input is x and if we have the x say for example we have a b a b a a B B A B B A if you are given the input like this then what is the output we are getting so response to this we have the output and which you can say at the beginning your machine starts from the Q0 assuming that your your machine is going to start from the Q0 and once machine is at the Q0, you're in, you have the input A. So machine is at the Q0 and input is A. It is going to transit to the state Q1. And once it is going to transit to the state Q1, it is going to produce the output 0. So you see that machine at the beginning, your machine is at the state, your machine is at the state Q0. And your machine is at the state Q0 and input is A. For this your machine transit to the state q1 and during the transition it is going to produce the output so it goes to the state q1 and now machine is at the state q1 and you are the input is b when machine is at the q1 and input is b it goes to the state q3 and it is going to produce the output zero so you can say like this you are going to produce the output zero and where it is goes it goes to the state q3 Q3 you can see. Now when machine is at the Q3 and input is A. So you have the input is A. 
and machine is at the state q3 it goes to the state q4 and output is what zero so it goes to the state q4 when machine is at the q4 and input is b it goes to the state q0 it goes to the state q0 and what is the output it is going to produce it is going to produce one now machine is at the q0 and again machine is now at the initial state and once machine is at the initial state and the input is a for which your machine goes to the state q1 and during the transition your machine is going to produce the output zero now your machine is at the state q1 and getting the input one sorry getting the input a and for this a your machine goes to the initial state and while it is going to the initial state the output is output one is printed so you can say that you have the output one and your machine is at the initial state q0 so once your machine is at the initial state q0 and the input is b your machine goes to the state q4 so it goes to the state q4 and output is zero when machine is at the state q4 and input is b again machine comes back to the initial state q0 and out, what what is the print output is printed the output is one now your machine is again at the state q0 and your input is a so your machine goes to the state q1 and output is zero your machine is at the state q1 and input is b input is b so your machine goes to the state q3 and output is what output is zero whenever your machine is at the q3 and input is b so for the input b your machine goes to the state q1 so your machine goes to the state q1 for the input b and the output produced by the transition is zero now your machine is at the state q1 so once your machine is at the state q1 it is going to read the input a so for, from the state q1 from the state this q1 your machine takes the input a and it goes to the initial state q0 so this goes to the initial state q0 and during the transition what output is going to print one now there is no further input machine has read the input completely and your machine is at the state q0 and your machine halts so once your input exhaust your machine stops and once your machine stops then you can see the output so this is the output produced by this machine and actually what this is going to produce it is going to produce zero and ones only so when it is going to produce one when it comes to the initial state so when it is going to when it reaches to the initial state then it produces the one and for what what string it is going to reach the initial state when it finds that okay the number of a's and number of b's are even so when even number of a's and even number of b's so this is actually for even even this is even even means even number of a's and even number of b's so this is you have seen that if on the output pattern you can see that you have zero and ones only when he, when the machine is going to produce the one so when it is coming back to the initial state so during the transition when it is going to come back to the initial state your machine is going to produce the one so whether it is coming from the q1 or whether it is coming from the q4 it is whether it is coming for the a or whether it is coming for the b once machine is coming to the state q0 it is going to produce the one why it is so because actually q0 what is in the q0 in the q0 you will have the even number of a's 
you will have the even number of A's and even number of B's. So this is the state for the even even. So once you see the output pattern and you if you just count the number of ones, so how many ones? This is one, then two, three, and this is four. So we have the four number of ones. This means we have <coughs> machine has encountered four times the even number of A's and even number of B's. So somebody may be interested to know that in the long strings, in how many times machine checks even number of A's and even number of B's. So exactly the same number of times machine is going to print the ones. So this is one of the example of the milli machine. So in other videos you will find the description of the Muria machine. The difference in the milli and Muria machine is only the way they are going to produce the output. So in case of the milli machine you will have the same number of output symbols as you have the input symbol. Whereas in case of the Muria machine you will have one more number of output symbol as compared with the input string. So this is the only difference how your both machines are equivalent. You can obtain one machine from the other.